In this lesson, we are going to learn about an other figure of speech that is assonance, which is based on sound effect. Assonance takes place when two or more words close to one another repeat the same vowel sound but begin with different consonant sounds unlike alliteration. We can say that assonance is the repetition of the same or similar vowel sounds within words, phrases or sentences. Now try to recognize the use of assonance in these examples. Catherine went here and there everywhere. You can see the highlighted vowel sound here in here, there and everywhere is repeated to create a certain rhythm. In the next sentence, Mr. John feels depressed and restless. The same vowel sound of the short vowel a repeats itself in depressed and restless. In the third one, the fat cat had a snack. Look at the words fat cat had snack. They are sharing the same vowel sound and invoking rhythmical effect. If you are looking for assonance in a sentence, do not detect the same spelling, rather focus on the sound of the vowel. As here, they watched the same drama. Here, A is creating two different sounds. Just notice, same drama. And in the next example, James likes a bit sugar in coffee. Here I is creating two different sounds in likes and bit. So these examples aren't creating assonance effect. Here are some examples of assonance which have different spellings but same sound. She seems to be rays of sunshine with her eyes of green. You can't notice the same vowel sound E with different spellings in seams, beam and green. In the next one, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. The same E sound with different spellings. And in the last one, she loves to see the bright high blue sky. Again, different spelling, same sound. Assonance is used in both prose and poetry to invoke certain feelings. Here is an example of assonance in prose. Poetry is old, ancient, goes back far. It is among the oldest of living things. So old is that. No man knows how and why the first poems came. Just notice how the highlighted vowel sound of O, long vowel, is helping to emphasize the idea of something being old and mysterious, which is setting the mood of the passage. Assonance is primarily used in poetry to create rhythmical effect and musicality by adding an internal rhyme to a poem. John Keats in his very famous poem When I Have Fears has used this figure of speech. When I have fears that I may cease to be before my pen has gleaned my teeming brain. You can find out assonance as long vowel E is used in C's, B, gleaned, and team, which is invoking certain feelings. I hope this video has helped you to understand more about assonance. Thanks for watching.